Okay, so we also want to initialize a repository, so let's type git init in the parent folder, which is the folder that contains these two folders. Git init. Initialize empty git repository in dot git. And now that is hidden, of course. But if we type ls dash a, we can see it. It has the git stuff, the git data, everything we don't need to know about. Okay, so we also don't want this to happen. We only want one master repository. So we're going to delete the dot .git in the front end that was created when we type create react app. So rmrf.git. And now you see we have everything here. If we type reload window, We have everything in one place instead of two places. So what, what I did to reload window, if we press Control shift p and that is to open the command palette. Now you can also go into view command palette for the shortcuts. Now we do have a lot of stuff going on here. Personally, I think if we had one master git ignore, it would save code really so node module slash let's change that in here so that it doesn't actually compute all of the changes okay so reload again now we can commit these changes and Initialize git repository, we're going to call it. Cool. Initialize repo for short. Now, if you don't know about git, there's a lot of tutorials out there. Basically, it helps you manage code versions. And if you look in the description, if you're looking on YouTube, then you'll see the changes of each video that I make. Let's show a demo example. My PC is struggling to open this web page. Big challenge. Okay, so here's an example of the prototype. Okay, so obviously I might use this branch here for non-prototype code. Now a branch in Git is just a a variant of code, that's how I see it, on a GitHub repository, or wherever you're storing it, it's a Git repository, and we're hosting it on GitHub, github.com slash code a dash live slash declone, that's where this code is hosted, so if you get stuck on anything, what you can do is you can go on one of these commits, and you can look at the changes, you can see this. these two lines were added, these two lines were removed from here. And then this was removed and replaced with this. That's just one example of a small git commit. And we will be doing them for pretty much most tutorials. There we go. Check the description.